Performance. Uh, I'm 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 Bill. This is my buddy Nels. How's it going, guys? Hey. Uh, so as long as you're gonna hang out with us, we usually ask for a couple things uh, from house guests. Uh, first, if you bring any snacks, uh, we would love to share snacks with anybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the other thing we like is uh, if you could if you could give us some suggestions for conversation starters. So uh, could you guys tell me, please? Something that's been in the, the headlines, something in the news that people have been awesome. talking about. Look. Oh, come on. Come on, not, we want some light conversation Wait here. <laughs> come on, guys, something, something in the headlines people have been talking about. A, Navy, a lady in the Navy beat the shit out of some guy that tried to Wow, I love yeah. our audience, okay. don't you? Yeah. A, a guy, a lady <laughs> in the Navy. There's been uh -huh. people to colonize Mars in 2023. Yeah, no, okay, a lady in the Navy beats some guy up? What? He tried, okay, so he, she beat him up. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a awesome. lady in the Navy That's, that's so up. cool, okay. good for her. I mean, you know. Not Woo, not right. this crowd! Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the other thing we'd like to ask is um, your favorite, uh, what's your favorite part about uh, being a child in the 80s? Uh, it could be anything, video game. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Oh, Ninja Turtles. That's All a right. good one. All right. So, cool. uh, so my, my choice for uh -huh. this evening would, of course, have to be uh, the, the video game with the best female protagonist ever, that would be Metroid. Oh, uh, right? that's so funny that you were going to say that, because I was going to suggest Metroid as well. Not Ninja Turtles. Well, I mean... You're not going to suggest Ninja Turtles. Uh, well, for the sake of playing Rock, Paper, Scissors, yes, I am going to suggest Ninja Turtles. Okay, so, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. All right, ready? Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. Rock, Paper, Paper Scissors, Lizard, Lizard, Spock, go! That... So, uh, Spock smashes scissors. Ah, all right. Metroid. Uh, all right, game on! <laughs> Game Boy. Awesome. All right. Here we go. All right. I uh, I hate the military. Is is that does that make me a bad person? I don't think so. I mean, they're kind of they're kind of dicks. Well, not everybody in the military is a dick. Well, I mean, there's like you know, there's that movie with like the guy. What's what it, Avatar? Like, no, no. Well, I mean, military that, bad. That guy was a dick too. Um, Blue hippie people, good. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. The guy from like that uh, Full Metal Jacket, and he's like, I'm gonna rape your mother and do and all I, And I am sure that is exactly what everybody in the military is exactly like. I'm sure that's exactly what everything's like. But no, like, I, whenever I see somebody like with one of the magnetic support our troops ribbons on the back of their cars, yeah. like, my my gut reaction is, I really don't support our troops. Does that, I mean, does that make me a terrible person? No, no, I mean, are, are you, are you saying that like, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, like, I'm just pleased with the government that sent them to Afghanistan? Or, Partly. Or, or, or are you saying like, you know, those, those a-holes, they really should be there? Well, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to stereotype, but like, okay, I mean, first of all, the people that buy those inane, ridiculous stickers, like, what the hell are they doing to support our troops? Well, they're supporting the sticker industry. Yeah, that's exactly. Sure. They spent 350 on a fucking magnetic sticker. Right, yeah. Like, meanwhile... You got one for three fifty. Mine's like six bucks. You have one of those? Well, well, y yes, the, yes. I, how, okay, then you tell me. You tell me. I have that. How I, are I, you? I have that. How and are you autism supporting... Awareness. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe the money that you purchase, the autism awareness sticker goes towards, like, I don't know, helping people with autism. But right. really, how much of that six dollars do you think actually goes towards, like, what, buying body armor for the troops that our government won't fund? Well... Uh, mm, yeah, see, mm -hmm. I mean, but that's why I bought the ribbon because you know it was it was a it was a noble thing to do. It was an empty gesture. It was not an empty gesture. There was what one, do you do to support our troops? There was this one time I ordered um, I ordered uh, a thing online, and this little plastic bag came with it, and it said, "Donate your cell phone, your old cell phone, to the troops." Right? What? Yeah. So I what put are they my. Do I put, with your old cell phone. I don't know, but I put it in it. I mailed it to him. Why is Samus just standing there? I because I'm. I'm talking about my cell phone. She had to pause and listen to my cell phone story. Like all good women do. Huh? Yes, exactly. You expect them to just at this sit point, there. No, no, at this point, we don't know Samus is a woman. It's a, it's a surprise at the end of the game. So don't ruin it for the people sorry, in the audience that spoiler may Spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert. She's got boobs. Well, I mean, 
I assume there's some built into the suit of hers. And green hair. Yeah, I know that was a that was kind of weird, it's wasn't like, it? Like I felt like okay. I'd, I'd like to blame the like you know bitmap imaging, but I, I was just thinking, well, maybe she's like um, maybe she just went swimming and she had bleached her hair. Yeah, you know something like that. Okay, but no, no, literally, what do you do to support our troops? Well, I bought I bought the ribbon. You bought the ribbon, right? And then oh, and you sent your cell phone. What are the troops going to do with the cell phone? I I assume they're going to use it to like call in airstrikes. They're going to be like, yo, uh, <laughs> you know, breaker, breaker, broken arrow. You know, come in here with the, you know, like 30 helicopters and blow the shit out of these ragheads, you I, know? Like, whoa, whoa. What, what? Whoa. What? Language. What? Language. Helicopters? What? What? No, what did I say? You said raghead. Isn't that what they're called? That's like the, no, that's like the N-word for the Middle East. Oh, sorry. Jeez, maybe you do belong with the military. Well, well, maybe I do. I mean, I mean, I, d I did think about it. I mean, like, my dad was like, you need to go to college. And I was like, well, I can't pay for college. He's like, well, maybe you should join the Navy. And I, and Dude, I was like, I... Navy? Well, well, then I was thinking Coast Guard because it's like, it's like <laughs> I mean, it's, it's sort of like the Navy, but you don't have to go too far away. In, in you know? an Ashton Kutcher movie with Kevin Costner. I, you see, you see what you just made me do. Yeah, you, you just, can't even play Metroid. You're gonna be in the Coast Guard. You've got me so angry. You've got I, me so I angry. I swim as hard and as long as I can, and then the ocean takes the rest. The Coast Guard was noble. Um, when Maverick and Goose crashed into the ocean in Top Gun. Who saved their asses out of the ocean? The, the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard, yeah. All right. So they, Maverick and Goose need people like me. Like, I would love to see you in the Coast Guard. Dude, I remember, I remember our 12-year-old Boy Scout swim check. That was the saddest, most pathetic thing I've ever seen. First of all, like, your nipples would have cut glass for one thing. You're referring to the time where they, they gave us the color-coded wristbands? Yeah, the, and little, I, yeah the, little, the little circle things. And right. yours, yours just had a little blue dot in it because you barely made it back to shore after they threw you off the dock. And you thought you were so cool because you were on, like, the, the swim-to-win I swam. I swam a mile. You... I don't know. I got my mile swim. I don't think it was actually a mile. I got my mile swim. That lake, all right. That and lake, I did not cut corners. That I lake swam was really corners. tiny. We went back and forth. Okay, but still, I mean, like, I think it's different. Like, yeah, one time. Oh, yeah, you, like, you're going to complain, Mr. Needs a Buddy to be in a boat. I don't need a boat, buddy. I yes, just, you did. Just, that was what it said I, on your swim tag because you I, failed I, the swim check. I prefer a boat. You couldn't buddy. be on the beach without a life jacket. <laughs> Are you finished? I mean, like. No, I didn't die at Metroid. Stop. <laughs> okay, but okay, but seriously, like, yeah. um, <laughs> so, so I mean, I recognize that I'm not doing anything to support the troops. Didn't they throw one more bag up here? Uh, the, the, you went behind the couch. No, I did go behind the couch. I got that one. Okay, so I recognize. I I'm leave not... no bag behind. Just like the, like the Coast Guard. I, it's like <laughs> because I'm I have a dedication to the noble cause that the bag has gone through. Unlike you, who are just like, I could not care less about the bag. Well, no, like, I care about stuff. Like, I care about people in general, which is why you I kind of... care about... People. I do, I care about Remember people. Remember the old lady in the, in the, um, in the uh, supermarket parking lot that you hit with oh, the door of your car? I didn't see her very well. I thought she could get out of the way. You thought she was like, oh, yeah, you know. She looked more nimble than she turned out to be. She's got a cane that's basically like she has three legs. Hey, I'm still paying for that doctor's bill, okay? So really? Lay, yes. Did they garnish your wages or something? What yes. They no, no, they didn't go. I voluntarily, okay, that's agreed very, to it. That's very nice of you. And yes, I, because I care. I voluntarily gave six bucks to buy a to support the troops ribbon. <laughs> and that, uh, because I care. So maybe you and I, we're the same. We're the same. We just, no. We just, no, like, okay. So I, the reason why I don't support the troops is because, like, I, 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 I'm bothered when I see the kind of, that, I wanted to use the word shenanigans for a second, but that would like, no, 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 no. that would like make it okay, like going into the Middle East and just, mm, I don't really like this place, I'm going to go crazy and just start killing families of, left and of, right. Full of shenanigans here. It's yeah, that's, a, like, okay, like, what's I What's up with the fact that they pray five times a day? That's weird. <laughs> so I, so I read... Like these newspaper stories about these horrible massacres that our troops have been involved in, and I and I think to myself, you know, I can't, I mean, I I I can't believe that that is just like these isolated incidents. It seems systemic. Like anybody that would, we've got a volunteer army. Anybody yeah. that would volunteer to do that 
I don't think should be given a gun and sent to a place where they don't understand the local populace. Okay, so you're you're so you're making this into a cultural debate. I mean, I mean, you you haven't you haven't exactly made that clear up until now. You you can forgive me for thinking that you were some sort of uh, I don't know uh, bigoted uh, anti-military industrial complex hippie because that's that's what you are. I'm I'm a bigoted hippie. Well. <laughs> You're bigoted towards the things that aren't so hip. It's like, it's like you're like, you're like, you know, like real hippies yeah, are like. Because nobody gives the military a fair shake, right? No, no, they don't. I mean, it's like they eat crappy food and like, I mean, you know, they got to wear those like polyester uniforms. I mean, it's like, I mean, not when they're in combat, they wear the, you know, like the digi camo stuff. But like, you know, when they're like on parade, like I swear to you, they, you know, they like picked up their dress blues from like a high school marching band or something like if, if they were to get into combat wearing their dress uniforms they'd probably melt before they would burn which would probably means that eventually you're coming up with this race of soldiers that are like in combat they like their uniforms melt to them and they can't get them off so they're permanently in their uniforms all the time and then they like have like dune. this yeah like this, 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 they like, process feces yeah, in the left exactly side exactly and so it's like this right it's like, and then they all go through this identity <laughs> crisis of like am i a man or am i just a soldier now like i can't separate the two anymore and they don't understand and it's i mean i mean i guess that kind of happens that's, for that's like that's that's that's, that's, that's post traumatic stress disorder that's that's what that is that's that's like a very real thing. And I, so, I, yeah, I hope okay. your $6 are helping some poor guy with PTSD. <laughs> well, I think every time somebody with PTSD sees that on my car, they feel a little bit better. <laughs> that's, that's what your bumper sticker yeah, is they, for. they feel a little bit, they're like, oh, that, that guy, he cares. He and ca he wanted, that guy he, cares about me. He doesn't care what other people, he doesn't care what other, other people think about him because he, it's in his best interest to help me feel good as a, as a wounded, be it ah! or mentally, hand it over, ah. as a wounded soldier. I gotta go all the way back to the beginning? Yeah, but you, I mean, I didn't get jack shit. All right. Clearly, we're not very good at this. No. All right. So here is... And like, is, is, that, is that just it? Like, is it that I, I, I'm upset at the military because I know that I don't have what, I don't have what it takes to do that. I think you you are. I mean, where can you draw where can you draw the line between well, between doing what's right for your country and doing something that you believe in? Oftentimes they're the same, but you know sometimes they're not, and it, it makes it difficult. It's it's something that people have to deal with every day. But I, I mean, I just think like, what if I lived during this during a time when like there wasn't a choice, where it wasn't a volunteer army? Like, what if I lived? Back in the days where your king decides you go to war, you grab your sword. You mean, you mean back in the days of King Nixon in Vietnam? Like, <laughs> let's let's talk about that okay, shenanigan no, no, no. for a little while, shall we? Okay, but then because... you at least had a choice. Like, okay, do I go to war or do I go to Canada? I mean, right? Like, there's still Canada. But, like, you know, back in, like, Anglo-Saxon days. I think Canada existed, I mean, maybe not politically as it does now, but I think Canada still existed back then. There were Vikings there or something. Or, or, I don't know, Iroquois, or I don't know, whoever lived in Canada. You know, beaver traders or, or something. I mean, like, <laughs> or, or like the ancestors of Getty uh, Lee. I mean, uh, like, I they're can't. just like, fly by night away from here. Ma and Pa got Change drafted. I'm going to go trade some beavers yeah. out in Canada. I mean, everybody loves beavers, right? I mean, like, it's just, I mean, they're silly. They got the big teeth. They affect their environment more than any other species other than man. Are you serious? They do. I learned that from The Simpsons. Do they have a big uh, carbon footprint? I don't know. Or, well, I guess they don't really have big feet. I'm so, that, I mean, I guess it would be like a, I, I'm, look, you got me, you got me environmentally conscious. Okay, all right, and, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Ninja Turtles. That's the next one. Good plan. Good plan. Jeez, like, I feel, like, I, if I lived back then and I was drafted, like, I would just, I would die immediately. Like, I, I feel like if that, was, if that was my lot in life, like, there would be nothing You're for talking my about the era where people used to line up to shoot each other. Yes. I think you would die pretty quick, but I don't think it would necessarily be your fault, so stop being so hard on yourself. But it would be my fault. <laughs> Why? Like, I mean, because I wouldn't be because good enough. Because you were enough. born into peasantry? I wouldn't be good enough to, like, you know, advance. I mean, war was supposed to be like the great equalizer for those people. Like, they went off to war so they could prove themselves, and then they'd come home, and they'd have these huge families, and they'd be rewarded. I mean, nowadays, I mean, we, we buy 
stickers to put on our cars and then we don't hire veterans and they end up just bugging me on the on the bus stop asking me if I have any acid. Do you have any acid? No! <laughs> I was just thinking playing Ninja Turtles while you're Ninja on acid Turtles. is probably really cool. You know, I don't who's your who's I selected you're player one. I mean, I know okay. So you're 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 Michelangelo then. Yeah, okay. Michelangelo. Uh, I'm sorry. It's Mikey. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Mikey. Uh Raphael for me. Raphael, uh huh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You, now you're going to tell me that uh, the great actor Ralph Fiennes, isn't it? Like, you're going to make <laughs> you know, talk about Rafe Fiennes? What, I mean, what is that? There's an L in there. You chose a turtle that's the same color as me. Now we're not going to be able to tell each other apart. I am red and you are orange. You're supposed to. Just like my, just like my support the troops ribbon is yellow and my autism awareness one looks like a puzzle. <laughs> they are different. Do you remember how the Ninja Turtles theme song went? It was like, of course I do. Who doesn't? How does it? No, I can only think of the Power Rangers one right now. For some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle Power! I'm up all night. I'm satisfied. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night.